I've been a fan of yours for a long, long time. A lot of people, they see you on television. Of course, they know you from Shark Tank and the Today Show. Let's go back, though, to before you became this self-made business woman. A lot of people might, might not realize that uh, in your 20s, you were really hustling, working as a waitress in a diner. Yes, well, nothing wrong with that. I was the best paid waitress. I got the biggest tips. That has to count for something. <laughs> <laughs> but I really had my first lucky break uh, working as a waitress, which was my 22nd job, as I had worked since the time I was 11. Uh, and in that particular job that night, a man walked in, ordered a cup of tea, and he became my first boyfriend. And it was he who uh, loaned me the $1,000 to start my real estate company one year later. And that real estate company, fast forward to 2001, you ended up selling your brokerage firm for, what was it, $66 million? Yes. Not only did I sell it for $66 million, I put it in my checking account so that every time I went to my Citibank machine, I could get a receipt out that said $66 million on it. <laughs> <laughs> that must have felt really, really good. So describe to us the, the fire inside you. What did it take for you to take that leap of faith, leave your job at the diner, and become who you are today? Number one, you have to realize I had nothing to lose and nowhere to go but up. If, if things didn't go well, I'd return to the diner or get another diner job and become a waitress again. It wasn't any big deal. I was happy as a waitress. It wasn't like I aspired to anything special. So taking a flyer on a real estate company might sound more important, but it really wasn't. I was opening doors for people, showing them little apartments to rent. And uh, so one job seemed pretty much like the other until I realized the very important difference was I was working for myself. I didn't have a boss. And if I was motivated before without a, with a boss on my back, I sure was motivated when I was the boss. And I realized I never wanted to work for anyone again. That was, that was paramount to my success, knowing that I was a phenomenal boss very empowering i can imagine of course barbara over the last few months we've seen so many small businesses micro businesses really really struggling we see it right here in houston you're doing something that's really cool you're offering this uh seminar that's free for anyone who wants to tune in and get some of your sound business advice absolutely it's a whole series of webinars and it starts on july 22nd why it's so important is I'm doing it in conjunction and partnership with AT&T Business. I've always learned in my life that if I had the right partner in anything, I could accomplish anything. I never worked alone. Anything I ever did, I had the right partner who had an opposite skill set to me. And together, the one on one equaled about a five in any business that I was in. We're going to teach people what they got to do to get their head on straight and what they have to do to go back to their workplace and really get their engines going and what steps they have to make to make the business bigger and stronger so that when they come out of this thing, whenever the thing ends, and none of us know that, they're going to have fewer competitors and big be a bigger business than they started off with. But it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of smarts and we're hoping to provide all that smart thinking. How do people tune in? It's so easy. Uh, it kicks off on, on Wednesday, July 22nd. You go to 888barber.com to register. You get all the information that you'll need just to get right on. And Barbara, just any parting words of advice for some of these business owners out there who really are struggling to find a light at the end of the tunnel right now. It sounds like you have a great attitude and even during your business setbacks that you were able to just sort of bounce back and know things would get better. but. What sort of parting words do you have? The only thing you're lacking in a bad time, if you're in small business and you want to get ahead, is the attitude or belief that that's really the way it is. And I'm a walking, talking example of exactly that is the way it is, because that's the way business life is. The worst times are the best times, and if you can get through it, you come out of it, and you become bigger and stronger with less competition than you ever dreamed would be possible. And so you have to bear in mind the fruits of that energy now, what you're running for. Uh, rather than thinking, let me wait it out. Oh my gosh, poor me, poor me. I've also noted that the minute an entrepreneur thinks, oh, poor me, it's over. You can't blame your problems on someone else or shirk that responsibility. You gotta get busy and get going. And so it's really a headset thing. Barbara Corcoran, you are a fighter. You're an inspiration. You got a lot of fans out there. And thanks so much for doing what you're doing to help these small businesses get back on their feet. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. 
What an incredible woman with an incredible story. In case you do uh, want more information about those webinars, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Just look for the scene on Houston Life section. We'll be right back.